Monroe at Bedford. First quarter we go as they play for the cleat. That's as old as you, Mike Jewell. I wore those. <laughs> Were those Chuck Taylors? <laughs> Brokeheads. Trojans first drive of the game, hand off to Jared Banks, and he takes it to the house. Finley up seven zip. Mules would respond. First and goal, Brad South pointing him in the right direction, and he's in. They'd miss the PAT. Mules down one. Second quarter. That's ah, the missed PAT. The missed, yeah. Just in case you thought I was not telling you the truth. <laughs> verify, trust but verify. Yes. Monroe's Malik Linton scrambling, rolling, lefty throwing. It's caught. I was watching the wrong guy. Trojans in the red zone. Next play, Linton. Well, why throw it when you can run it? Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice move. Oh, and cuts back across the field. Trojans up 14-6. How about some more Linton? Ooh. If you're Drew Sims, you don't want to see that celebration you know, for Perrysburg. No. Look at it, Jalen Johnson. Uh-oh, what do doctors make sometimes? That speed. House, House call. call. Thank you. I got it. I need time. That's <laughs> <laughs> multiple choice next time. That's all right. But you know what? There was laundry. Very next play, Jalen Johnson. I think we've seen this before. Yes. He still got Oh, my lights. gosh. <laughs> oh, just. Tough tackling. <laughs> That's 11 guys having a shot at it. Yeah. Mules fall 41 to 6. Here's Danny Rogers. There's no chance either of these teams were expecting a final score of 41 to 6, but that's exactly what happened behind Jalen Johnson's three touchdowns. Monroe finally gets to take home the Golden Cleat Trophy for the first time since 2014. Well, when we had a 14 to 6 and we had a chance to um uh, drive down and score and we overthrew the pass and then we had the penalty and a whole bunch of mistakes after that. That's where a, uh, the major issue lied is, uh, and I told him this, that that's where um, we had a chance to, to, to beat our fists on our chest and we didn't. They have good um, option, play, option plays, so we had to cover that pretty well. We had oh, their offense too, they like to spread it out on us, but we was able to cover it all. Well, it feels great, you know. Um, Third year as a head coach, we've put in the work. My players have put in the work. Uh, my staff has put in the work. And it's just a tribute to this group of seniors that has been working hard for four years, ever since they got to Monroe High. Um, I couldn't be more proud of them. Couldn't be more proud of this guy, those other seniors. They mm -hmm. played great tonight. They played with emotion. They played together. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest thing. When we all work together, big things happen. Well, Jalen, he, he, he's fast. So we, we just wanted to get him the ball out in space. And even before, uh, right before half there, Said if we get it to our home run hitter, we got a shot to hit a home run. So um, that was a big play. Fast and elusive, just to let you know. For the first time this season, Coach Natario saying his team has been able to play a full game. They'll be looking to take this huge win into their homecoming weekend next week when they host Pioneer. Reporting from Bedford High School, I'm Danny Rogers for BCSN.